Hey guys, Barry Casson here again, barrycasson.com. You're looking for tips on video film production? Go to that site, click on, uh, I think it's uh, seminars and workshops underneath there. You'll see it's right now, it says teaching and then seminars, workshops. You see a lot of tips on film and video production. Um, what I want to discuss with you today or just talk about, it's going to be a short video, so please don't run away, okay? It's going to be short. All right, uh, what I want to talk to you about is a thing called image displacement. Now, image displacement is a really cool thing. I learned this years ago myself. I was studying film in Hollywood, and I remember one of my teachers told me about this, and I was really blown away. I thought, this is so cool. Okay, so what image displacement is, it's just displacing one image with another on the screen. So to do that, for, let me give you a couple of examples of how, how cool this is and how it works. Let's say, for example, you're interviewing somebody, and I used to be a news camera, and I used to do this all the time when we did that. You're interviewing somebody, and you finish up the interview, and let's say the guy's got a red shirt on, okay? So I'm finishing the interview, I'm shooting him, and when we finish, I just take the camera and I zoom right into the red shirt, just like that. And I fill the whole camera with the red shirt, okay? Now, from there, I could go to something different if I was doing a film. This this just a way of doing it in, in, in news production, but if I was doing it, I wanted to do sort of editing in the camera this way, this would be really cool. I, after I'd zoomed into that red shirt, all I need to do is to find a red rose or something and zoom in, start on the red rose and simply pull back like that. And I have image displacement. In other words, the audience is caught up in the red shirt and all of a sudden we're into a red rose and it's just displacing one image with the other. You could do the same thing, for example, with a hubcap. Let's say you, you, you zoom into a hubcap on a car, it's all chrome. Watch out for the reflections though. It's all chrome, right? You finish, you cut, you go to the next thing, you open up on a kettle on a counter. So you pull back from the chrome kettle, boom, you've got image displacement. You see how this, this works? And you can make up your own ideas for this. I've used it a number of times in professional videos and it's worked very well. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll have more stuff to come. In the meantime, go to my website, barrycasson.com. See if you can find stuff on there that works for you. I hope so. And I'll be back another time with more tips on film and video. Thanks for watching.